Well, this was a way different video than I planned to make about level eight. If you're in the market for new luggage and think that level eight might be the one, we have a lot of unpacking to do in this video. I hope this video will help you decide if level eight is the luggage for you. There is a backstory that goes along with this video and I can't do this video in good faith without telling you the whole story. Is it good? Is it bad? You guys will have to let me know in the comments and decide for yourself. A company did reach out to us called Level 8 and they wanted to know if we wanted to try their luggage. So with our big trip coming up in September, we thought this was perfect timing. But before we do our big international trip in September, we are gonna be taking a domestic trip. So you'll have to stick around to the end of the video to find out where we'll be taking you guys next. Okay, so what's the backstory? So Level 8 reached out to us. We decided on two pieces of luggage that they were gonna send to us to try out, which we thought was great. That line specifically didn't ship to Canada at the time. So we have relatives that lived in the States. We gave them their address. They went and picked it up. Thank you <laughs> for picking it up for us. When we went to go pick up the luggage, there was only one piece of luggage. And I thought, hmm, didn't we negotiate two pieces of luggage and a set of packing cubes? which I'm super stoked about. The packing cubes were there and only one piece of luggage was there. So I immediately got on the email with level eight and in corresponding, she wrote back and said, well, we have this new set of luggage it's called the Grace line. Would you like to try this out? What do you think of this line? So Jay and I talked it over and we're like, okay, it does offer different features. They are two completely different lines. So it'd be nice to kind of compare in our video. So. We'd agreed and it was shipped. In less than a week, we had a full set, three pieces of Graceline luggage. But the story doesn't end there. I'll share more later. So now we finally have the Voyager case and the Graceline. We are ready to open them. We are so excited. But keep in mind, Jay and I have been traveling for the last six months in a 55 liter Offspray backpack. So even though they have been awesome the whole time we've been traveling since we started in 2022, it gets old real fast carrying everything you own on your back. So we are looking forward to trying something new. Like I said earlier in the video, now we have two different lines to compare. So we are gonna start with the Voyager case and it is black and yellow. It is considered a limited edition and it does come in black and navy plus an additional color called Celadon, which is basically like a light gray. The outer shell is made with durable polycarbonate material. It's super light and it's supposed to be anti-scratch. One of the things that sold me on this piece of luggage was the wide telescopic handle made of aluminum alloy. Not only does it make it easier to move, it also increases the inside packing space. And let's be honest, who doesn't like more packing space? It also comes with a TSA combination locking system for additional worry-free security, which allows your bags to be inspected without them getting damaged, which is a bonus. It also has 360 degree durable spinner wheels that are ultra quiet with an anti-shock design. On the inside of the Voyager, it has two separate compartments with additional zippered pockets. One that's waterproof for those that like to do that one last dip in the pool before their vacation is over. This 20 inch carry-on is 43 liters, has a lifetime warranty and covers functional damage to the shell, the wheels, handles, zippers, and anything else that impairs the use of the luggage. They do offer shipping to Canada and the US and it usually takes about three to six business days to get your luggage. Something we are way too familiar with, but more on that in a minute. So the other line of luggage that we are going to try out is called the Grace line. And it does come in three different colors. It comes in black, navy, and champagne. So these cases are very lightweight. The outer shell is made of polycarbonate and ABS materials with a three layer micro diamond texture surface, which is supposed to make it anti-scratch and durable. Hmm, durable. Complete with 360 degree spinner wheels and a sturdy ergonomic aluminum telescoping handle. Much like the Voyager case, it does come with a TSA combination locking system, but in this Grace line, the corners are also reinforced, which is a nice feature. On the inside, prepare to get organized. The 28 inch and the 24 inch check pieces come with two separate compartments. One compartment has compression straps to fit more of your favorite things. And on the other side, it has an additional mesh pocket that's smaller to keep your little bits organized. These two pieces are not expandable. 
What sold us on this line of luggage was the carry-on. What's unique about this hard case shell is that it has an exterior pocket to house your tablet, your laptop, other small items like your passport. It even has a space for pens. It also comes with an additional lock so you can lock up your electronics and your important documents. This carry-on is a packing size of 36 liters and it also expands which gives you a few extra liters of space. And like I said earlier in the video, I was lucky enough to get a set of packing cubes <laughs> so I am super stoked about that. I am 100% team packing cube. Sorry for all the rollers that are out there. What's great about these packing cubes is that they're specifically designed to fit in the Voyager case. It came with four packing cubes in various sizes and it has these cute little interchangeable Velcro labels. And one of the packing cubes has compartments, so perfect for my camera gear and some of my cables. Now, if I had to compare the Voyager carry-on with the Graceline carry-on, I would give a slight edge to the Voyager for the overall quality and the wheels are quieter than the Graceline. Even the design is different. But for functionality, I would give a win to the Graceline for the handy laptop pocket. They do offer a pro carry-on and one called the Roadrunner, which is also a carry-on, and it comes with a laptop pocket in the front, it's a hard shell case, and it has the higher quality design, like the Voyager. I think it's the best of both worlds. First impressions, it obviously comes very well packaged, very, very nicely uh, wrapped and protected and that being shipped to you. Good shipping. About that. <laughs> We had done the whole video of vlogging the Voyager luggage, the Grayset luggage, and when we were putting everything away, I noticed on the 28 inch on the wheelbase, it was completely cracked. So that's why this video is completely different than what I was expecting to film. It arrived that way. I have no idea how it got broken or cracked. I know that it was packed by Level 8, shipped by Amazon. Obviously, somewhere in shipping, it got damaged. It just makes me question the durability. We've all seen that one guy offloading luggage at the airport. The good thing is I emailed Level 8 right away and they sent us a new set of luggage in two days. I didn't expect them to send three whole new pieces, but now we have seven pieces of luggage, one that's not usable. I kind of felt like Oprah when she was doing her big car giveaway. You get a piece of luggage. You get a piece of luggage. Everybody gets luggage. <laughs> so was it just bad luck, a miscommunication in the beginning and because we only got sent one piece of luggage? And was it just a one-off that we got the one case with the broken wheel? I don't know. Will they get trashed after our first international trip? Maybe subscribe to find out because we will be giving updates along the way. Okay, so there you have it. Everything unpacked, ready to go. Yeah. Thank you so much to Level 8 for sending this out. We're very excited about getting out on the road now and trying yeah. this stuff out. Sure. We can't wait to uh, pass along some updates on how this stuff performs. So at the beginning of the video, I told you guys to stick around to the end so that we could tell you where we're heading off to next. And before we do a big international travel, we'll probably need all of these pieces of luggage. So that's awesome of Level 8 to send them to us. We are gonna do some domestic travel. We are taking you guys to Nova Scotia. In the next couple of weeks, we are headed off out east and we're probably gonna spend about a week there taking you guys along, showing you the sights. I cannot wait. We have never been, so it's definitely been on our bucket list. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and we will leave a link to the Level 8 website because lucky for you guys, they have given us a discount code for you guys to get 10% off. It's Watts Traveling 10. I'm gonna leave that in the screen here. Go check it out in the description below as well. And we hope to see you in Nova Scotia. Bye guys.